Your body is king. Your body is God. Your body, your body, your body. God body today. Okay, so some uh, thoughts about your body. Your body, not my body. So everyone is born with a different body, right? And how this body manifests itself is uh, something that's a little bit outside our control. So things we cannot uh, change are racial, DNA, ethnic background, makeup, cannot control, uh, you know, your age, gender, sex, stuff like that, uh, height, stuff like that, proportions. But things you could change is uh, you could strengthen your spine, your sinews, Atlas hold, weightlifting, uh, powerlifting, hype lifting, EK lifting, uh, squat holds. You could strengthen your tendons, your sinews. You could uh, elevate your mind, your body. You could put on more muscle mass. You could uh, decrease your body fat percentage. And so that's the best way you could actually build and augment your body through weightlifting. Yoga also helps. I, I, I prescribe a, a solution of 90% weightlifting and 10% yoga. I think it's a, a good power rule. Um, I mean, if LeBron James could do an hour of yoga a day, so can you. Um, and it actually does seem like a noble goal to use your whole life as an experiment to build your body. I mean, I think, uh, yeah, my, my personal theory is the more elevated your body becomes the more elevated your mind and your soul and your creative thoughts will become. Um, you know, everyone's life goals are different. Mine tends to be more towards like the philosophical, entrepreneurial, creative side of things. And I mean, in simple thought, right? Like everyone's trying to gain more confidence in photography and street photography, stuff like that. Bro, once you hit the seven plates, hold the seven plates on your shoulders, you could do anything. Like seriously, like I'm going to open up my own gym called the EK gym with EK lifts. No running machines, no rowing machines, no machines, just a bunch of heavy barbells and uh, power racks and um, stuff. Uh, <laughs> also, there will be a freezer full of, uh, also be a coffee shop, espresso bar, no cream, no sugar. I'm going to be a coffee Nazi, just only black, robusta, get death wish coffee to supply the coffee. Uh, it'll also be a standing desk area, free Wi-Fi's, uh, membership will be $99 a month, start and cancel whenever you want, turbo thotting station, vlogging station, GoPro station, ideally it would be indoor outdoors, like an outdoor space and indoor space, uh, no scales, Actually, even I thought it would be a good idea to make a gym with no mirrors. Even like designing a house without mirrors. I, I actually think that people would be way happier if they didn't have mirrors. Like, can you imagine back in the day, the ancient Greeks were in super duper swole, right? Like, there's no mirrors. I think people had higher self-confidence, self-esteem. Yeah, mirrors, mirrors, mirrors no good. You design a restaurant, a cafe, bar, restroom, just don't put it in a mirror. And then also you don't have to worry about stupid keys like uh, stupid kids like king you know dicks into the the mirror and stuff like that but anyways so trying to see how far you can elevate your body is a, a good goal um you were given a body at birth your body and ain't nothing to do about it and i do not recommend doing any like what sex change gender change injections hormones steroids estrogen whatever's have use uh, I think that's a, uh, I think it's a little bit short-sighted. I mean, if people want to do it, that's totally cool. But I just think, uh, it's from a pragmatic perspective, it's a, uh, A, it's expensive. B, it's um, uh, time-consuming. C, it'll probably weaken you in the long run. Our, our goal is to become maximally powerful and strong. And I mean, the thing too is like, certainly anyone could choose their sexual orientation or gender or whatever. Uh, I just don't believe in taking artificial hormones to, to change things. This seems to be uh, yeah, very short-sighted, not a good idea. But anyways, so first and foremost, we had to kind of get rid of this notion that somehow the body's evil and sex is evil. It's it's not. It's uh, procreation and having kids and 
giving birth to new life is a, a good thing. Um, also, like, for us men, right? Like, I think I should stop trying to impress women so much. Like, first of all, A, it's not very effective. And B, it's kind of a distraction. Like, like even Kanye, my favorite line is like, uh, I don't care about you who you're going home with. I'm into my own dick. Or like uh, like Drake said, this dick ain't free. Like, can you imagine this world and where, you know, like most dudes are just trying to bed as many beautiful women as possible. It's like, can you imagine you meet this beautiful woman and then she had to pay you 20 bucks in order for her to uh, see your wee wee? That would be the ultimate flex, right? Um, but actually, in fact, if you want the ultimate strength and elevation, you don't want to blow your load. You know, the <laughs> just think about it this way. Before you're about to rack pull seven plates, you finna go out and rub one out? Probably not, right? Or you're gonna deadlift like over six plates? You're gonna rub one out real quick in the bathroom? No, right? Um, so I think when it comes to these things,